I married the love of my life at 18 after only knowing him for eight months, and this is the continuation of my love story. After meeting this handsome stranger at the Kentucky Derby party, dancing the night away, all felt like a fairy tale. I arrived at home that night a little past curfew, and I knew I would suffer the consequences of being grounded and having my phone confiscated, but I didn't mind. I felt like Cinderella who just met her prince at the ball. Even though I left my phone number with the prince, it didn't dawn on me that his only way of communicating with me had been blocked, or so I thought. Three days had passed, and I became contented with the fact that the perfect stranger would fade away into my memory, leaving only a piece of him in a page of my diary. It was the most ordinary Monday at my local community college where I was in school for aesthetics. I was in the library at the computer checking emails, and that's when I saw it. An email addressed to me by the name of Yannick Rook. I hesitated to open it, for I was in complete disbelief, but my excitement consumed me. He wrote how lovely of a night he had, and how he tried to reach me by cell, but was unsuccessful, and wanted to see me again.